Good morning children. Let us proceed with exercise 7.2. Problems based on Poisson distribution. Question number 8. The demand for cars in a hiring shop each day is a Poisson variate with mean 1.5. As I read mean, I will immediately term it as lambda. Find the proportion for neither car is used or some demand is refused. So since lambda is given, we will write mean lambda equals 1.5. X is number of cars used. And X follows Poisson with parameter lambda. What is Poisson distribution? P of X is equal to X is E power minus lambda. Lambda power X by x factorial x goes from 0 1 2 and so on in this question lambda we know so i must find out what is e power minus lambda that is e power minus 1.5 as we know we refer exponential function table and the value is 1.5 so we drag down till I get 0.5. So it is 4.481. This is for the positive value. 4.481. I see 0.5 and I see 1 here. So 1.5 will be 4.482. Take your calculator. 1 divided by 4.482. See what is your answer? 0 0.2231. So this is for e power minus 1.5. 4.482 is e power plus 1.5. What I want is e power minus 1.5. So divide 1 by 4.482 gives me e power minus 1.5 value. Let us substitute. When the question is neither car is used, P of x is equal to 0. Neither car, no car, so 0. e power minus 1.5, 1.5 power 0 by 0 factorial. 1.5 power 0 is 1, 0 factorial is also 1. e power minus 1.5 is 0 0.2231. So the question is to find the proportion and this is the proportion. So this is for neither car is used second part of the question is some demand refused what do you mean by some demand refused how many cars are there actually the firm has two cars some demand is refused implies probability of x greater than two so a person comes he claims no car or one car or two cars. This man will be able to provide. Suppose more than two they come and ask. He has to refuse. So some demand is refused tells me P of X greater than two. How to find it? One minus P of X is equal to zero, one, two. My question is more than two. So whatever I don't want, let me subtract from one. 1 minus 0 if I put e power minus 1.5, 1.5 power 0 by 0 factorial, e power minus 1.5, 1.5 power 1 by 1 factorial, e power minus 1.5, 1.5 power 2 by 2 factorial. So we have substituted for 0, 1, 2 separately. Add it all, subtract from 1, 1 minus in all the cases, e power minus 1.5 is common. Take it out. So what remains? 1.5 power 0 is 1. 0 factorial is also 1. So this is 1. 1.5 power 1 is 1.5. 1 factorial is 1. 1.5 the whole square is 2.25. Divide by 2 factorial tells me 1 into 2. That is 2. Now add all this. Multiply with this value 1 minus what is e power minus 1.5 0.2231. 
Simplify this answer. Multiply and subtract. So as we multiply, we get 0 0.8087. Subtract from 1, we get 0 0.1913. Simplify and this answer we will take and write probability some demand being refused is 0 0.1913. So in this problem, we have identified neither car tells me x is 0. Some demand refused tells me the demand should be more than what we have. Two cars are there in the firm. So more than two they ask, we have to refuse the demand. And this is the answer. Exercise 7.2, question number 9. Average phone calls per minute into a switchboard between 10 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. is 2.5. The word average tells me this is lambda. Find the probability that the switchboard has no phone call. That is x is equal to 0. Exactly 3. That is x is equal to 3. At least 5. x is greater than or equal to 5. So, as I read the problem, understand these things. Average is lambda. No phone call is x is equal to 0. Exactly 3 is x is equal to 3. At least 5 is x greater than or equal to 5. Let us fill the details. An e power minus 2.5. Try it on your own referring to the table in the book and check whether you get this answer. Now, the first question is x is equal to 0. P of x is equal to 0. E power minus lambda is 2.5. 2.5 power 0 by 0 factorial. E power minus 2.5, 0 0.0821. These two will become 1. So, that is my answer. Exactly 3. P of x is equal to 3. E power minus 2.5. 2.5 power 3 by 3 factorial. This is 0 0.0821 into 2.5 the whole power 3. 15.625. 3 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3. And as we multiply and divide, we get 0 0.2138. Third part of the question, at least 5. So that tells me x greater than or equal to 5 or 1 minus p of x less than 5. Which are the numbers below 5? x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Find out all these values separately like this. Subtract from 1. As we substitute 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the formula. In all the cases, e power minus 2.5 is common. Simplify. When power is 0, it is 1. 2.5 by 1. 2.5 the whole square. 6.25 by 2. 2.5 the whole cube. Divide by 6. 3 factorial tells 1 into 2 into 3. 2.5 the whole power 4. Divided by 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. As we simplify, add it all. 10.8568 and this we multiply with 0 0.0821 e power minus 2.5 value. As I multiply, subtract from 1, we get 0 0.1087. So, we have found no phone call, 0, exactly 3, x is equal to 3, at least 5, x is greater than or equal to 5. Question number 10. Number of road accidents per day in a city is a Poisson variate with mean 4. As I read the word mean, I will call that as lambda. Out of 100 days. So this tells me I must multiply my last answer by 100. No accident tells me x is equal to 0. At least 2 tells me x is greater than or equal to 2. At most 3 tells me x is less than or equal to 3. So as we read all this, lambda value, Poisson distribution and what is e power minus 4? Let us find out and proceed with the problem. 
lambda is 4, x is number of road accidents and x follows Poisson with parameter lambda. P of x is equal to x is e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. e power minus 4, we find out e power 4 from the table, 1 by that value gives me this answer. My first question is no accident which tells me x is equal to 0. e power minus 4, 4 power 0 by 0 factorial that is 0 0.0183. Then I need it for 100 days. This answer what I get is per day. So when I say 100 days multiply by 100 and as I simplify it is 1.83 or approximately 2 days. Question number 2. At least 2 accidents. The word at least tells me x is greater than or equal to 2 or 1 minus p of x is less than 2. 1 minus p of x is 0 and 1. Substitute 1 minus e power minus 4, 4 power 0 by 0 factorial plus e power minus 4, 4 power 1 by 1 factorial. e power minus 4 is common. This is 1 and this is 4. Together it is 5 as I multiply subtract from 1. As we simplify we get 0 0.9085. This answer is the number of accidents at least 2 per day. But my question is 100 days. So multiply by 100 and approximate it and we get 91 days. Third part, P of at most 2, 3 accidents. Tell me X is less than or equal to 3. That is X is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. Substituting in the formula, P of X less than or equal to 3 is equal to e power minus 4 common for all. So let us keep it out. 4 power 0 by 0 factorial. 4 power 1 by 1 factorial. 4 power 2 by 2 factorial. And 4 power 3 by 3 factorial. e power minus 4 is 0 0.0183. 1, 4, 16 by 2, 8. 64 by 6. Let us divide and add it all. Multiply with this, find out the answer. 23.67 multiply with 0 0.0183, we get 0 0.4331. This is at most 3 accidents per day. But my question is for 100 days, so multiply by 100 and we get it is 43.31, which is approximately 43 days. So, 43 days out of 100 days, we can expect at most 3 accidents. Question number 11. Fatal accident during the year in a certain factory is 1 in 1200. Find the probability that in the factory employing 300 workers, there will be at least 2 accidents given e power minus 0 0.25 is 0 0.7788. As I read the problem, there are how many workers? That tells me N. And what is the probability? 1 in 1200 is P. Once I know N and P, I can find out lambda. Lambda equals N into P. That is 300 into 1 by 1200, which is 0 0.25. X is number of accidents. x follows p of lambda and p of x is equal to x poisson distribution is e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial x 0 1 2 and so on my question is at least two accidents when i say the word at least two i mean x greater than or equal to two and this i will write one minus what I don't want. Greater than or equal to 2 tells me 2 to 300. Which is difficult to find out. So 1 minus x 
below 2. Which are the numbers below 2? 0 and 1. Substitute. E power minus 0 0.25. 0 0.25 power 0 by 0 factorial. 0 0.25 power 1 by 1 factorial. Simplifying the answer, this value is 0 0.7788. Power 0 gives me 1 and power 1 gives me the same answer. 0 0.7788 into 1.25. Find out the answer and this is per day. One minus e power minus zero point two five point two five power zero by zero factorial point two five power one by one factorial one minus e power minus value we have substituted from the given data anything power zero is one power one is same number add it multiply by this subtract from one we get 0 0.0265 and that is the answer. Question number 12. The average number of customers before a bank counter per minute is 2. Find the probability that no customer or 3 or more customers per minute. Average tells me this is lambda. No customer tells me P of X is equal to 0. 3 or more tells me X is greater than or equal to 3. As I understand all this from the question, let me write down mean lambda equals to X follows Poisson with parameter lambda X is equal to number of customers before a counter. P of X is equal to X is e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial, x goes from 0, 1, 2 and so on. My first question is x is equal to 0. e power minus 2, 2 power 0 by 0 factorial. Wherever lambda comes, we are putting 2. What is e power minus 2? Refer to the table, it is 0 0.1353. 2 power 0 is 1, 0 factorial is 1. So, my answer is 0 0.1353. Second question, x greater than or equal to 3, which is difficult to find out 1 minus p of x below 3. That is 1 minus p of x is equal to 0, 1, 2. 1 minus e power minus 2 is common for all. 2 power 0 by 0 factorial, 2 power 1 by 1 factorial, 2 power 2 by 2 factorial. Simplifying this, 0 0.1353 e power minus 2 value. When the power is 0, it is 1, 2, 4 by 2 is 2. Simplifying which, 0 0.1353 into 5. Multiply, subtract from 1, get the answer. 1 minus 0.6765 gives us 0.3235 and that is the answer.